Welcome to Child Project Management Foundation Examination. This are a set of sample examination questions. A little bit about One World Training. One World Training is a global training, business simulation and training company. We have offices in the United States, UK, Netherlands, India, Malaysia, and other parts of the world. We provide training in IT, business management, project management, ISO standards, GDPR and other trainings for both individuals and organizations. We deliver trainings in different ways. We offer public classroom-based trainings online from home or work, e-learning and other approaches. Uh, we uh, provide uh, public uh, uh, trainings too uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, catering to both private and government organizations. Uh, we are authorized by many leading global professional bodies. A few of our authorizations are laid out on this particular slide. Now, a little bit about the foundation examination. The Agile Project Management Foundation examination uh, is a, a set of 50 questions, uh, and you need to attempt all questions. Uh, you will be given about 40 minutes to answer 50 questions. There's only one correct answer per question. And the passing threshold is 25. You need to get 25 or more to pass the examination. So let me take you through 50 questions as a part of the sample question. So I'll read out a question and uh, give you some time to uh, read through the uh, options. Uh, and if fact, uh, in fact, you could pause the video, uh, examine the options, and then replay back the uh, uh, audio uh, to make sure that you uh, hear the right answer. And as we go through the questions, uh, I would give you a rationale for a few of them. So let's start off with question number one. Um, which of the following is not stated as a benefit of using DSDM? The correct answer is A. User training becomes unnecessary. Now that is definitely not uh, a stated benefit. Uh, whereas B, C, and D uh, are basically benefits of using DSDM. Uh, there's going to be a greater ownership of the solution with the business. Deployment is going to run smoothly. There's going to be collaboration and cooperation across multiple entities. Uh, and you significantly reduce the risk of building a wrong, wrong solution because uh, during the feasibility in the foundation phase, you would make sure that you assess the business case and the uh, risk exposure of the, uh, of the project. So moving on to question number two, which statement relates to the DSDM view on formality? The correct answer is D. DSDM process should be configured with an appropriate level of formality. Now, we would need to kind of scale up or scale down the framework depending on the needs of the uh, project. Uh, a is wrong. Um, you know, the aim is not to remove all formality. Um, and B also is wrong. Uh, Agile could be informal, but it need not necessarily be a must be informal kind of scenario, and it is not entirely uh, formal. So uh, D kind of makes sense, and uh, uh, and we move on to the next one, question number three. Which role forms part of the solution development team? And the correct answer is the solution developer the business analyst and the business ambassador, they are part of the solution development team. So as a part of the exam, I would request you to please uh, look into the various roles uh, at the project level, at the solution development level, and at the level of supporting the uh, members of the uh, project. So good to kind of have a quick recap. Number four, what role is responsible for ensuring that the solution delivered will enable the benefits described in the business case to be achieved?
And the correct answer is D. It is usually the visionary who is responsible for ensuring that the solution delivered will enable that the benefits described in the BC are achieved. Question number five, in a DSDM project, what does the W in Moscow stand for? And the answer is, won't have this time. Question number six, in a structured time box, when does the solution development team seek to understand the time box objectives and accept them as realistic? The correct answer is in the kickoff step. Question number seven, which of the following statements about DSDM are true? And the correct answer is C, one, three, and four are true, whereas second one deals with the development and delivery of a product rather than the full project is a false statement. DSDM does deal with the delivery of the full project. Question number eight, what in DSDM is designed to shape the attitude and mindset of a DSDM team? And the correct answer is principles. Question number nine, when ideally is the first instance that a solution should be fully tested and potentially deployed? And the correct answer is at the end of a time box. Question number 10, when does DSDM state that the post project phase takes place? Third answer is D, after the final deployment for a project. Number 11, which responsibility relates to the solution development team roles? Third answer is B, shape and build a solution. Question number 12, in this DM, what role must hold a sufficiently high position in the organization to be able to resolve business issues and make financial decisions? The key word being financial decisions and the answer is C, a business sponsor. Number 13, what is the purpose of the DSDM pre-project phase? And the answer is ensures that the, only the right projects are started and set up correctly. And that's the purpose of the pre-project phase. What is iterative development? The correct answer is it's a practice where features are designed, developed, and tested. Number 15, which objective relates to the DSDM deployment phase? Third answer is D, none of the above. A does not relate to deployment phase. Uh, that normally happens as a part of the evolutionary phase. B does not happen in deployment. And C is also something that does not happen in deployment, rather it happens in the foundation phase. Number 16, which approach correctly reflects the use of Moscow prioritization? And the correct answer is it kind of relates to a specific time frame. So within a time box, what is it that we can do? What is it that we cannot do? Is an important question. Number 17, which statement about delayed delivery is correct for DSDM? The correct answer is B, it can often undermine the very rationale for a project. Number 18, what DSDM product describes at a high level, the requirements that the project needs to address and indicates their priority with respect to meeting the objectives of the project and the needs of the business? The correct answer is prioritize requirements first. Number 19, how often should a time box plan be updated? 
And the answer is it should be done daily. B is the right answer. Which of the following is not an instrumental success factor? The third answer is B, inspection and adaption, whereas A, C, and D are one of the uh, other three success factors out of the six that we kind of looked at. Number 21, which DSDM product describes what has been achieved in a time box together with any feedback that may influence plans moving forward? Third answer is time box review record. Number 22, under the DSDM Moscow rule, which definition describes the must-have requirement? The right answer is B, solution not viable without it. Number 23, which statement about the detail of requirements is correct for DSDM? The right answer is D, Projects should not be paralyzed by overly detailed analysis of requirements. Number 24, what is the purpose of the feasibility phase? The correct answer is B, establish whether or not the project should be stopped. Number 25, what DSDM rule ensures that the project is technically coherent? And the answer is a technical coordinator. Number 26, in a free format time box, which activity is carried out during the iterative development step? The third answer is scheduled reviews of the work in progress. Number 27, which of the following is a DSDM principle? And the answer is focus on the business needs is a DSDM principle. Number 28, at the time box level, what is used to help ensure the transparency of process and progress? The correct answer is daily stand up and team boards. Number 29, identify the missing words in the following sentence. An organization amenable to incremental delivery of solutions, DASH will benefit from early return on investment. The answer is B, into live use. 